Dude, this is freaking sick. Now I just need Master Chief to come take my weapon from me. Okay, so while everyone is either bashing each other in the comments or making videos just bashing each other, it seems like this game has really started to step up in terms of modding because they just released all their mods now or modding support on the Steam Workshop where originally you would have to go on the website itself, operationhardstoresub.com. Now you could just subscribe to the mods on the Steam Workshop. While some of the mods still need some work, I don't know what's really going on behind the scenes. So some of the mods you might still need to grab that file and then move it into the mod folder within the local files of your game. I know it's very confusing. I get it, it's very frustrating but it's a step in the right direction. And I feel like this game needs a lot of steps in the right direction because there's a lot of people bashing each other in the comment sections, creators are bashing each other in videos. And I just wanted to maybe help calm the waters a bit because I get it from both sides. Gamers that want to play this game, see it as a very bare bones and lackluster, like tactical shooter where people that are on like the modding side absolutely love that it's a full fledged, you know, modding platform. The SDK is open to everyone. This game is free. There's nothing, you know, there's no loot boxes. There's no any, you know, monetization behind it. Those DLCs that you see are already in the game. Those, <laughs> those are literally free. They're not even like legit paid DLCs. And with all that being said, I get it. This game is still sitting on mixed reviews, but this is coming from both sides. I understand both sides. At least I try to, because again, from just a gamer's perspective, I can see why someone would come in and see that there's barely any game modes actually just there's just one game mode you know yeah you might have all these factions but then you have a limited number of maps and i you know i can definitely see yeah sure it's free but i'm not gonna put a lot of time into it myself so i just feel like if the base game was more fleshed out i feel like both modders and gamers could really sit here and figure out like how to make the game better in their own vision I mean, just take Armor Reforger, for example. I feel like Armor Reforger is a perfect example of what like Operation Harsh Doorstop is. While people thought Reforger was like the game itself, it's more of just like a glorified tech demo, but it's a tech demo that you can mod. And now you have plenty of mods coming out for Armor Reforger to make it like the better version of Armor 3. Now it's gonna take years, I would say, for it to be anywhere on the level of Arma 3. But that's basically the whole point of like these like platforms is that you basically put out the product and then you see what people do with it. Now, in my opinion, I still, again, like I said earlier, the base game should have been more fleshed out. Even on Armor Reforger's side, I really feel like it should have been more fleshed out. But with community servers and mod support for Operation Harsh Doorstop, I really feel like this game could really start become, you know, having a life of its own. But before we start doing that, people need to stop bashing each other. I feel like and it's YouTube. It's the Internet. People are going to have their opinions. In fact, I'm pretty sure someone's going to bash me in the comments before taking both sides. <laughs> How can I not just stick with one side? How dare you try to be the middleman? You know, it's look, I get it. People are going to say what they want to say. But other than that, guys, let me know what you guys think below in the comments, because I really want to have like genuine conversations. I know in my last video, there were some people that were talking and I was actually really excited to like get into those conversations <laughs> other than some other videos that I've seen and people are just bashing each other. It's oh God, YouTube, you are something else. Anyways, <laughs> again, let me know what you guys think below in the comments. And if you think that this game or this project might have a future within the tactical gaming genre, again, there's there's a whole lot of like 
meat and potatoes behind that <laughs> sentence but you know what just let me know and i will see you guys in the next video if you did enjoy this video as well too please hit that like button subscribe for future content just like this and i will see you in the next one peace